from havoc to harmony. A second day of protests on the campus of the University of Texas at Austin Thursday were calmer than just a day earlier. It feels definitely a bit safer, a bit less rambunctious and definitely a bit more peaceful. Protests against the university enforcing the state mandated DEI ban were planned for Thursday afternoon, but after Wednesday's pro-Palestine rally, plans changed. We did things the same way that we were attempting to do yesterday. Paintings, picnics, and quiet demonstrations, activities that were planned for the day before, finally took place Thursday. I sat with students who occupied the South Lawn, a place we couldn't be just 24 hours earlier. I think it would have been the same yesterday if they hadn't ordered an un unlawful assembly, uh, ordered dispersal. I think today was a little bit more calmer than yesterday. Pro-Palestine rallies have rocked some of the nation's biggest universities like NYU, Columbia, and the University of Southern California. At USC Today, campus administration canceled the upcoming main graduation ceremony in response to the ongoing Palestine rallies. UT students now question if this could happen on their campus too. I think that would be a really, really bad outcome, but at this point I think it's, it's anybody's guess. UT President Jay Hartzell released a statement after Wednesday's Palestine protest, doubling down on his decision to invite several law enforcement agencies on campus. Some students say it was a violation of free speech, while while others thanked campus administration for the response. Hartzell's statement rang false. If you want to protect free speech, then you don't break up peaceful protests. It's free speech be damned. Honestly, I'd like to thank Governor Abbott and President Hartzell and his administration for being so proactive, so reactive to all the violence on campus. As students recover from Wednesday's mayhem, they wonder what's in store for the future. It's great that there's a sense of normalcy returning. Part of me is also like, I don't want that to happen because yesterday was just unacceptable when it comes to campus free speech. Today, for the second day in a row, a mass of University of Texas at Austin students and faculty called for an end to the violence in the Middle East. But today they had another target, UT Austin President Jay Hartzell. Hartzell in his first comments Wednesday night said that those demonstrators were warned that their actions would not be tolerated. And while stopping short of outright praise for law enforcement arresting more than four dozen individuals, said the university did as we said we would in the face of prohibited actions. Now UT faculty say they're calling for a statement of no confidence in Hartzell. Hartzell out! Hartzell out! Just 24 hours later, those same demonstrators held an arguably larger rally that was unquestionably more subdued. No arrests were made as only a dozen or so law enforcement officers looked on. Yesterday, you have DPS officers kind of just coming in, lined up in, in a formation, and we really didn't see anything of that today. What do you make of that? Fantastic question. This is the difference between yesterday and today, police escalation. As many of those original dozens of arrestees were released, including Amr Kadumi, the very first organizer to be detained, as this reporter witnessed firsthand. After being released from jail, Kadumi was at today's rally. We spoke with his father. That the administration here has made no effort throughout this difficult period to even make as much as a statement um, that they have any interest in, in the situation of, of this set of students. Signs calling for free speech and upholding First Amendment rights were held high during today's protest. The Palestine Solidarity Committee said loud, We will call for divestment! But peaceful is what they have been trying to achieve all along. This was our goal yesterday. UT senior Jenna Holmesy said today's protest is being bolstered by supporters from across Austin and the state. People are coming from all corners in order to help us out today and to hear to help our voices be heard. Jewish students also say their voices deserve to be heard. They don't think today's peaceful co-assembly would have happened without yesterday's show of force by police. Yesterday, I think the police presence was totally needed. Jasmine Rad is with Longhorn Students for Israel. Do you don't think yesterday's response was an overreaction? No, no. Not at all. I mean, as a Jewish student, I felt like as if, if that response was not there, I would feel unsafe. I felt safe enough to come here and stand up for what I believe in.
UT faculty are asking for more clarification from university leadership about why DPS troopers were called to campus yesterday. Some say they did not see the need for dozens of arrests. What I saw was a peaceful demonstration by students exercising their right to say what they will under the First Amendment. There was no violence. There was no anti-Semitism. Today, UT clarified that free speech comes with the duty to respect every student's right to learn and move freely on campus. That includes not using amplified sound that would interfere with classes, identifying themselves to police, and not setting up camps or tents on university property. Some faculty think yesterday's crackdown was in response to escalating protest on other campuses across the country. Students on this campus should not be punished for things that are happening on other campuses, even if they support the same ideals and the same principles. Organizers of today's protest say this will not be the last event they have here on the UT campus. They say they will continue to make their voices heard until the university acts on their demands. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. I'm just a regular college student who did not deserve to be arrested in Penn What well, was supposed to be a peaceful protest at the University of Texas at Austin erupted into chaos Wednesday. The protest was held by the Palestine Solidarity Committee and started with students walking out of class just before noon, calling for an end to the Israel-Hamas war. Free, free, free Palestine! Shortly after, the campus was overtaken by hundreds of members of Texas law enforcement agencies. One by one, CBS Austin watched as multiple people were arrested. The Travis County Sheriff's Office says 57 protesters were arrested, including UT Junior Olachuku Okafora. I was arrested. I was there for over 13 hours. It was very long, very tiring. Um, draining experience. Freshman Lena Wynn didn't think that nearing the end of her first year in college, she'd see herself spending the night behind bars. But that's what happened Wednesday afternoon. Wynn says she was a part of a group linking arms against a blockade formed by state troopers when she was put in zip ties. <laughs> They were pushing us backwards and literally tripping us and then arresting us. Wynn captured her arrest on video, showing the moment she says she was grabbed out of the crowd by troopers. Two cops like pulling each either of my arms, grabbing me out of the crowd, like away from the rest of the crowd so that they could arrest me separately because I assume I was an easy target for them. Okafora says she wasn't at any point told to disperse by police. Wynn says she recalls being told to back up, which is what she says she was trying to do. We are backing up. There's people behind us and our arms are locked like we cannot move. So we were kind of put in a sticky situation and they literally have human shields and batons blockading us, pushing us back. So I don't know what more they wanted us to do. Both students say their charges were later dropped. In Austin, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.